there's some evidence of, uh, of some damage on the back side of this compound. Um, the, uh, apparently, at some point, uh, somebody really didn't know what they were doing. As you can see, there is no oil coming out. Hmm. Well, gee, that may not be a good thing. Certainly warm. Certainly could have used a lot more oil than they've seen. Hello everyone, welcome to Green Gander 75. I'm Buddy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that opening as much as I enjoyed uh, making it. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So, uh, as you can probably tell from the opening, we're going to be uh, we're going to be making some repairs to the saddle um, that uh, probably could have been avoided. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, as I was working on the saddle, removing the paint and uh, years of paint and rust and grime, I began to notice that the saddle uh, had basically been used as an anvil. Uh, someone at some point had this uh, had this lathe, and I guess they uh, they were working on parts, and uh, they needed something to beat on. So, uh, well, they beat on the lathe uh, on top of the saddle, and uh, the cross slide, and uh, basically everything that was on top, uh, except for the ways. Thankfully, <laughs> they did not beat on the uh, on the ways. So, uh, so we've got some repair work to do. And um, we'll be getting into that uh, over the next couple weeks, uh, repairing what we can. Some things we're not going to be able to repair uh, simply because, well, you, you can't put anything on them. They're, uh, they're ground surfaces uh, that parts slide over. So uh, we'll just make sure those parts are smooth and um, that's about all we can do with those. So uh, that's, uh, that's coming up uh, over the next couple weeks. And I'm making those repairs. So uh, today uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you some uh, footage of uh, of removing the paint off the uh, the saddle. Uh, that's what I did this past week. And um, you're going to notice that I'm now using some power tools. Uh, the parts are getting bigger, so it's time to go ahead and break out some power tools. And uh, you'll also notice that I periodically spray it with water to keep down the dust. And uh, if you're using power tools uh, to remove paint, I highly recommend um, wearing a, uh, a respirator of some kind to keep from breathing in the dust. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and watch some of the video of, uh, of taking off some of the paint on the saddle.
All right, well, welcome back. So I wanted to uh, point out and see if y'all could see where they were beating on with this hammer. Um, so this is probably the easiest spot to see is right here. Let me zoom out a little more. All right, so this is where we were just looking on the saddle. And um, they just absolutely beat this to death with a hammer. And over here on this side over here, uh, and this side over here just absolutely just beat the living snot out of it. <laughs> it's really quite a mess. So um, this area right here we're probably not going to be able to do much with. I believe we can't put any paint, we can't put any bondo on that. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's got to stay uh, unpainted and smooth. <laughs> as smooth as it can possibly be. I'll double check on that. This side over here and the other side over here we will definitely be able to do something with this. We will fill in uh, those marks. We will smooth it out and uh, make it look real nice. Well I guess that wraps it up for today. So we've got some work to do to get this, uh, get this mess cleaned up and looking a little better. And some things we won't be able to repair, most likely, like I was saying before, the area on top here. I don't think there's anything that I can do with that. Uh, we'll just make sure it's nice and smooth um, so nothing runs into it. Um, other things um, we really can't do anything with right now is um, the, uh, the ways on here for the cross slide. Uh, there's a considerable amount of wear. Um, due to lack of oil uh, along here and there's not much I can do with that um, I understand I can send it off to be uh, reground and that may be something that I will look into doing doing in the future I just I just don't have the money to do that right now so really can't do anything with that my understanding though is that uh, if you're gonna have uh, wear issues the uh, the cross slide on the saddle here is where you want to have it um, because you can learn to compensate for that, uh, whereas if it was on the ways, on the lathe, you would have a, have a bit of an issue, uh, with accuracy. So it's been an awesome week this past week on the channel. Uh, we, sub we passed the, uh, 100, uh, subscriber mark this past week. That allows us to, uh, request a, uh, URL, a custom URL name from YouTube, which is pretty cool. And uh, some more information on that uh, coming soon. And uh, so, uh, wow, we're just, we just really want to thank everyone for, uh, for watching. I want to thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, always thank you for your comments. Um, I tell you what, everybody is really great. And I, I want to thank you so much for that. So um, looking, forward to, uh, looking forward to make these repairs over the next couple weeks. And bringing you all along for the process. Um, hope you enjoyed my, uh, my, uh, special opening, uh, to the episode, uh, today. Uh, had a lot of fun making that. Uh, it's, uh, one of my hobbies, as you can probably tell, is, uh, is making videos and, and the video production side of it. So, um, just really had a lot of fun doing that. Well, I guess that is all for this evening. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and um, y'all have a great evening.